Next here tonight to an I-Team investigation, book bans, quite the hot topic in Florida school districts these days. And tonight we found out just how many books have been removed from school libraries. An I-Team investigator, Katie Legrone, reveals what she found and why some fear the worst of school book challenges is still to come. On a recent Tuesday night. It's not a healthy book to have on the library shelf. In Polk County. When we start taking away our children and our First Amendment rights. More than a dozen people gathered in a meeting room to discuss. Kids are already interested in those things. Books. Any wealth of knowledge, I believe, which is appropriate to be viewed, uh, should be made accessible to all students. But a book club, this is not. I just don't see that it's it's an appropriate library book. Instead, these are members of the school district's recently formed book review committees, a voluntary group of educators, parents, community members, and students reading, reviewing, and offering their opinions over whether books that were available to students in some school libraries violate state law for being too sexually explicit or obscene for minors. I represent county citizens defending freedom. Kathy Bucklew is among the district's voluntary book reviewers. Do you have a child in the school district? Not now. To date, these committees are reviewing 16 books in question, challenged by Bucklew's group, whose mission is to equip and empower American citizens to stand for and preserve freedom for themselves and future generations. There are so many options for uh, students that are so positive why do we have to keep 16 books that are questionable? Because they talk about sex, you're saying? Well, not just because they talk about sex, it's how they talk about they sex. So far, six books have been reviewed by the committees, with the vast majority of members voting not to ban them, or even change which grade level have access to them. This is the kind of stuff that matters to me personally. 16-year-old Santiago Duarte reviewed this book, It's Perfectly Normal. Aimed at children 10 and older, it's a frequent target of book bans for its descriptions of puberty, sex, and relationships, along with illustrations, including those of the LGBTQ community. It's a cartoon. It's harmless. And I disagree that it's a form of indoctrination or a, there's an agenda behind it. These are just normal people just like you and me. Across the country, the number of books challenged last year to library schools and universities reached 729, a record according to the American Library Association. And across the state, we found most school districts are not being deluged with book challenges and bans. We polled Florida's 67 school districts starting in February. Of 45 school districts that responded to our requests, Seven districts reported book challenges, with most challenged over just a few books. Polk County's 16 book challenges are one of the highest, but Indian River County Schools has had by far the most of districts that reported to us. 156 books challenged by conservative moms group, Moms for Liberty. One of its founders is a resident. But like most districts facing book challenges, Indian River School Board barely budged, deciding to only remove five of the 156 books challenged. Moms for Liberty is now appealing. Doesn't that give you, I guess, comfort for the future? No. Jen Cousins and Stefana Farrell founded Florida Freedom to Read Project after Orange County Schools received a few book challenges. To date, just one gender queer has been removed from school libraries. The problem is we just pass laws that don't speak for the majority of parents and definitely don't speak for the majority of students. Those laws include new training for school librarians, an opening for parent lawsuits, and a public review period for all instructional material, including library books, before a district includes them. That ongoing pressure to either not put a book on the shelf in the first place, to not bring up a topic in the classroom, to or to just pull something that gets challenged to the point where it says this violates law, um, and just quickly pull it and remove it. This book is selective to pick up as a student. Back in Polk County, the future of 16 books will ultimately rest with the school board, but not without this team of book reviewers offering their own words in person and on paper. Children need things that are positive, not entertain or be involved in introductory pornography. If you're reading a book and you're digging through looking for just anything sexual, I honestly feel like you're the problem. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you.
Meanwhile, Polk County's book review will go until the end of April as they're only about halfway done. You can see a partial list here with the results of five of the books already voted on. Beloved 19 Minutes and the Vincent Boys have been voted to be at high school level only. The Kite Runner can be read at the middle school level and George, the only book so far that can be accepted at all levels in a library. That's just to name a few, but we do have a full list on our website. Head over to abcactionnews.com.